Hello and welcome to In Depth. I'm Tina Jha. Google Maps have become an essential feature of our urban lives. We use them while driving, navigating public transport, or finding our way on unfamiliar streets. Today, Google Maps are one of the most popular mobile applications. They work through the global positioning system that was started by the United States of America. But now, India has acquired its own navigation system. Early on Thursday, the navigation satellite IRNSS-1L was put in orbit by the PSLV C-41 rocket. Eighth in its series, the satellite completes the first phase of the Indian regional navigation constellation NAVI, a name given by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In our episode today, we'll understand how different is NAVIC from the GPS system of the United States, what are its features and its claims to navigational accuracy, and when will it be fully operational? The Indian Space Research Institute on Thursday launched the eighth satellite in the IRNSS series. Once in place, the homemade global positioning system will provide satellite-based navigation that will be used for both civilian and military purposes. Between May and July of 1999, Pakistani soldiers disguised as militants infiltrated into Indian territory and captured all Indian posts in Kargil. The infiltrators positioned themselves at key locations, giving themselves a strategic advantage during the start of the war. And the Indian side was faced with the difficulty of pinning down their location accurately. The government then approached the United States for help in tracking down these Pakistani infiltrators by using their GPS system. However, the US turned down India's request, leading to the Kargil War. Since then, the Indian Space Research Organization has worked tirelessly to develop the country's very own GPS technology with mapping, geolocation and navigation facility. Our own independent GPS system, which we call the Global Positioning System, is very necessary for any country to have its own. Till now, we have been using the GPS system by America. And the problem in that uh, GPS system is that at any time they can cut short the data to us in case they don't want to, uh, like what they did in uh, 99 Kargil war. So we had to have a, our own system and Navic is our own system in which we have seven satellites and uh, each satellite is what we call the IRNSS. So seven satellites when they are placed in the geostationary orbit which is around 30,000 kilometer above the earth, they will serve as the independent GPS system for us. and that would be a great achievement for our country because then we are not dependent on others. As soon as the IRNSS-1L satellite is established in a polar orbit, a link to the indigenous GPS system will be added. Although this work could have been completed a long time ago. In August last year, the mission to set up the satellite IRNSS-1H in the series was unsuccessful. IRNSS-1A, the first satellite of the series of seven navigational satellites, has almost become useless due to the failure of three rubidium nuclear clocks. IRNSS-1L will now replace IRNSS-1A in space. Accuracy of the satellite itself and the navigation system that we develop is extremely important. Today in India, we have been able to develop satellites which are highly accurate which is very difficult to achieve just because the satellite itself is moving at a very high speed. The waves take time to reach it, come back to earth, inform us, calculation has to be done, things have to be converted into, data has to be converted from zero and one into time or distance or position, whatever. So it's not something very easy. But today we have capability to develop satellites which we have been developing which are highly accurate. In this network as uh, uh, we have been informed by ISRO, seven satellites are required. And why do you need so many satellites when triangulation needs only three satellites at the most? Because of the curvature of the earth, you need more satellites. If you have to cover more area, then just because of the curvature of the you require 
bigger footprint satellites, yet the number has to be large. One big satellite cannot cater uh, to your needs and therefore you need a series of satellites. So Indian subcontinent, if one has to cover including the Indian Ocean, which is very important to cover, uh, you require array of satellites which we have been able to uh, achieve. GPS satellites are designed with very advanced technology and the first priority of scientists is to make sure that the information they receive is 100% accurate. Therefore, an automated clock is used on these satellites. The timers in the IRNSS series have the ability to calculate accurate up to 100 millionth of a second. This makes India's GPS system navigator, the Navigation Indian Constellation, truly incredible. Soon we will receive these signals on our smartphones as well. Since this satellite system is located above India, its accuracy in India will be higher than that of the United States system, which means we can completely depend on the navigation received from this satellite system. With inputs from Lina Sharma, Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. The Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System or IRNSS is an autonomous regional satellite navigation system developed by the Indian Space Research Organization. Its purpose is to provide services like GPS and GIS. And once it starts working, it will match standards of America's Global Positioning System and Russia's GLONASS. In this report, let's find out about IRNSS and its significance. The Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System with its operational name NAVIC is an autonomous regional satellite navigation system. It provides accurate real-time positioning and timing services of India and neighboring regions. It covers not only India but many other neighboring countries. It covers regions extending 1,500 kilometers or 930 miles around India. The system at present consists of a constellation of seven satellites with two additional satellites on ground as standby. Three of the seven satellites are located in geostationary orbit. Remaining four satellites are in inclined geosynchronous orbit. NAVIC provides two levels of service. The standard positioning service for civilian use and a restricted service for authorized users. Each satellite of this system cost 150 crore rupees and the PSLV XL version rocket cost 130 crore rupees. If we have our own network, then tomorrow, if Google decides to uh, take a decision that no, we will not provide this service to India, what happens to the country? The entire country all kinds of activities will be suddenly crippled. If we have our own system, then nobody can threaten us by saying that we will stop. This navigation satellite lies between latitude 30 degrees south to 50 degrees north, longitude 30 degrees east to 130 degrees east. The responsibility for maintenance of this navigational satellite is on the ground segment, which includes IRNSS Spacecraft Control Facility, ISRO Navigation Center, IRNSS Range and Integrity Monitoring Stations, IRNSS Network Timing Center, IRNSS CDMA Ranging Stations, Laser Ranging Stations, IRNSS Data Communication Network. So the satellite would know exactly where that object is and as the object moves the satellite would track the whole thing. So in this way we are doing the navigation but to have more precise navigation then you need to have more than three satellites to have a very accurate uh, position of the object on the ground. So for that we have seven satellites which uh, give us very accurate uh, position. The work of navigational satellite is standard positioning service and a precision service. Both will be carried on L5 and S band. The satellites weigh approximately 1330 kilograms and their solar panels generate 1400 watts. 
a messaging interface is embedded in it. This feature allows the command center to send warnings to a specific geographic area. Fishermen using the system can be warned about a cyclone. Unlike GPS, which is dependent only on L-band, Navic has dual frequency S and L bands. And if there is any obstruction in the atmosphere, then also we can get accurate positioning and navigation signals. And by analyzing that, we will be able to know the accurate position. With inputs from Lina Sharma, Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Navic or Navigation with Indian Constellation is our own indigenous global navigation satellite system. It is designed to provide accurate positioning information service to Indian users and users in the region extending up to 1500 kilometers from its boundary. It will give India its very own navigation system which will provide information on location and time in all weather conditions. Back in the old days when we planned for a trip, we bought printouts of maps and traveller guides. Nowadays people don't have to venture out. They can plan their trips on laptops or mobile phones. Unquestionably, GPS navigation and Google Maps have revolutionized the ease with which we can travel, whether it be by car, boat, plane, train or foot. India has so far been dependent on the US Global Positioning System, better known as GPS for navigation purpose. That's the technology we all use when we open Google Maps. From searching the location to getting the information, Google Maps is used by millions of people every day. We increasingly depend on Google for GPS navigation. The system was originally developed by the US government for military navigation but now anyone with a GPS device can receive the signals and use it. But we cannot fully depend on it, especially in the times of war. One such example was the Kargil War, when the US denied India vital satellite information, making it clear to us that we need to have our own indigenous navigation system. We know that uh, a certain GPS system has to be there for all our day-to-day -day functions which includes uh, GIS or uh, movement of the vehicle and for that uh, purpose uh, remote sensing and all. So uh, our own independent GPS system which we call the global positioning system is very necessary for any country to have its own. Till now we have been using the GPS system by America and the problem in that uh, GPS system is that at any time they can cut short the data to us in case they don't want to like what they did in uh, 99 Kargil war. So we had to have a, our own system. Apart from India, only a few other countries, including the US, European Union, China, Japan and Russia have their own navigation systems in place. Navic Navigation with Indian Constellation is India's indigenous global navigation satellite system. It consists of seven satellite systems hovering over India. 18 centers are being set up in India for its operation and maintenance. The big deal over Navig is that it has the potential to provide greater accuracy and precision in navigation. The system will also reduce the country's dependency on US global positioning system. Navig is supposed to enhance both civilian and military navigation capability by providing two kinds of services. It will help in crop mapping benefits to farmers. It will also help fishermen travelling in the sea to find their direction. Besides this, it helps in the case of natural disasters. Real-time mapping of all government projects running in different areas can be done. It also helps track traffic jam on the road and allow real-time tracking of late trains. The service can also be integrated with mobile phones. So therefore, this project uh, in my opinion, has dual purpose, and it has it is it is uh, claimed by um, ISRO also that primarily it will be used for navigation purposes, for civilian purposes, but it will have certain information and data getting generated, which will be used for strategic purposes as well, which will be used by limited number of sources uh, or agencies in in the country. Navic can also help India to improve its relation with neighbouring countries by providing GPS facility to them. 
India can share benefits of this network with Sri Lanka, Nepal and Bangladesh for better relation with the countries. India can also help the neighbours during flood, earthquake etc. Apart from this, the government can use it in the e-bill and other tracking schemes. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha Television. Global positioning systems are being used in almost every aspect of our lives today. These systems have revolutionized technology by becoming more interactive and useful. Also, they are extremely versatile, providing help in navigating unfamiliar cities, locating missing people, mapping forests and helping farmers harvest their fields. But how does a global positioning system work? Let's find out in this report. All of us use smartphones and apps these days. And maps are one popular mobile application. The navigation app works through the global positioning system. GPS is a network of 30 satellites orbiting the Earth at an altitude of 20,000 kilometers. It was originally developed by the US government for military navigation but now anyone with a GPS device, mobile phone or handheld GPS unit can receive radio signals that the satellites broadcast. The first satellite navigation system was Transit, a system the US military deployed in the 1960s. Transit's operation was based on the Doppler effect in which satellites travelled over well-known paths and broadcast signals on a well-known frequency. Although its use was restricted to the military during the time, GPS did not achieve full operational status until April 1995. In the world, when it started, there was a point in the area of navigation, the people, the vehicles, the water, 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 the साइंटिस्ट के पास वो समस्या ये थी कि किस तरह से उनकी किसी एक वक्त के ऊपर पोजीशन देखी जाए हमारे पास ट्रायंगुलेशन का मेथड था लेकिन हमारे पास इतने सैटेलाइट नहीं थे जो हम इस्तेमाल कर सके ट्रायंगुलेशन मेथड को यानी तीन पोजीशन से किसी एक चीज की अगर पोजीशन को जज किया जाए तो हम ये कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं कि वो कहां पर है और अगर मूव कर रहा है तो उसकी गति क्या है GPS is a system made up of three parts, satellites, ground stations and receivers. Satellites act like the stars and constellations and we know where they are supposed to be at any given time. The ground stations use radar to ensure they are actually where we think they are. A receiver is constantly listening for a signal from these satellites. The receiver figures out how far away they are from a few of these satellites. Once the receiver calculates its distance from four or more satellites, it knows exactly where you are. Wherever you are on the planet, at least four GPS satellites are visible anytime. Each one transmits information about its position and current time at regular intervals. These signals, travelling at the speed of light, are intercepted by your GPS receiver that calculates how far away each satellite is, based on how long it took for the messages to arrive. Navigation technique is a very simple thing. If we have to know where it is, where it is, where it is, in space, this is my only thing. If I want to see it on the X, Y axis, I have to know how far it is from here. 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 From a reference point. And I can see it when I can see it from three sides. I can see it from three sides. कि वो कहां पर है और अगर वो चल रही है तो मुझको उसकी गति भी कम से कम तीन तरफ से नापनी पड़ेगी रियल टाइम में इसको हम कहते हैं नेविगेशन द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजिक्स एक्सप्लेन इट इन अंपल वे इमेजिन यू आर स्टैंडिंग समवेर ऑन अर्थ विद थ्री सैटेलाइट इन द स्काई अब यू इफ यू नो हाउ फार अवे यू आर फ्रॉम सैटेलाइट ए देन यू नो यू मस्ट बी लोकेटेड समवेर ऑन द रेड सर्कल इफ यू डू द सेम फॉर सैटेलाइट बी एंड सी you can work out your location by seeing where the three circles intersect. This is just what GPS receiver does, although it uses overlapping spheres rather than circles. The more satellites there are above the horizon, the more accurately your GPS unit can determine where you are. This process is called trilateration. If you say it in a very simple language, if you say that I am standing in a jantar-mantar, 
तो मैं जंतर मंतर के कहीं पर भी खड़ा हो सकता हूं चाहे मेन गेट पे हूं चाहे उसके बैक गेट पे हूं लेकिन जब मैं दो पॉइंट दे दूंगा कि मैं जंतर मंतर पे हूं और उसके गेट के पास हूं तो एग्जैक्टली आपने मुझे लोकेट कर लिया तो ऐसे ही जो सैटेलाइट हैं ऐसे तो हम कहेंगे कि एक ही सैटेलाइट से सारे काम हो जाने चाहिए लेकिन एक सैटेलाइट से जो एरर आएगी उसकी लोकेशन की वो दो सैटेलाइट से उसको हम लोग पिन पॉइंट कर पाएंगे थोड़ा आ, कम दूरी में ये मैथमेटिकली विकसित किया गया था काफी मतलब डेढ़ सौ साल पहले तो विकसित किया ही गई थी गई थी ये ट्रायंगुलेशन टेक्निक कहलाती है यानी आप ट्रायंगल बनाते हैं उसमें एक जगह के ऊपर फिक्स करते हैं किसी चीज की पोजिशन को इसको सैटेलाइट से करना ये नई बात है To calculate the time GPS signals take to arrive, the GPS receiver needs to know the time very accurately. The GPS satellites have atomic clocks that keep very precise time, but it's not feasible to equip a GPS receiver with an atomic clock. However, if the GPS receiver uses the signal from a fourth satellite, it can solve an equation that lets it determine the exact time without needing an atomic clock. If the GPS receiver is only able to get signals from three satellites, you can still get your position but it will be less accurate the gps receiver needs four satellites to work out your position in three dimensions east north and altitude if only three satellites are available the gps receiver can get an approximate position by making the assumption that you are at mean sea level if you really are at mean sea level the position will be reasonably accurate however if you are in the mountains the 2d fix could be hundreds of meters off A modern GPS receiver will typically track all of the available satellites simultaneously but only a selection of them will be used to calculate your position. Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV. India has created its own regional GPS navigation system that will provide full positioning of the Indian sector, shipping as well as real-time services. By far India has sent 8 satellites under this navigational satellite series. The Indian Regional Navigational Satellite System is a group of 7 satellites of which 3 are located in the geostationary orbit of Earth and 4 in the inclined geosynchronous orbit. The system will provide two levels of service, the standard positioning service open for civilian use and a restricted service for authorized users including the Indian Army and other security services. and why do you need so many satellites when triangulation needs only 3 satellites at the most because of the curvature of the earth you need more satellites if you have to cover more area then just because of the curvature of the you require a uh, bigger footprint satellites yet the number has to be large one big satellite cannot cater Uh, to your needs and therefore you need a series of satellites so indian subcontinent if one has to cover including the indian ocean which is very important to cover uh, you require array of satellites which we have been able to uh, achieve in 2010 india decided to start launching satellites by the end of 2011 at a rate of one satellite every 6 months IRNSS-1A the first of the seven satellites was launched on 1st July 2013 from the launch vehicle PSLV C22 IRNSS-1B was launched on 4th April 2014 on board PSLV C24 rocket The third satellite IRNSS-1C was launched on 16th October 2014 from PSLV C6 IRNSS-1D was launched on March 28, 2015 from PSLV XLC-27. The fifth satellite in the series, IRNSS-1E, was launched aboard the PSLV C-31 launch vehicle on January 20, 2016. While the IRNSS-1F satellite was launched on March 10, 2016 from the PSLV C-32. IRNSS-1G was launched on April 28, 2016 through PSLV C33. However, IRNSS-1G failed to deploy due to a technical snag. The first satellite 
it developed a snag in the atomic clock, which is a very accurate clock, which is uh, keeping the time to millionth of a second. So when the clock is not working, the satellite is not able to perform its calculations. Though it's, you are doing other uh, work, but for the GPS application, that satellite became uh, redundant. So now to replace that, in 2016, August, we launched another satellite, but that could not be put into the orbit. That was a failure. So now to replace that first one, now we are launching this uh, satellite, which will take place uh, instead of that satellite, it will be used uh, for uh, all the calculations. The Indian navigational system provides accurate real-time positioning and timing services. Currently, America's GPS, Russia's GLONASS, European Union's Galileo and China's Baidu are the biggest navigational systems in the world. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. And that's it from us in this edition of In Depth. Thanks for watching.